My involvement with the LEP began back before there was a LEP with the Social Work Strategy in 2012. A group was formed to help contribute to the strategy from a service user care perspective. This was a great group and we'd seen many things accomplished. In early 2017, the next stage was put together, the Local Engagement Partnership, and this was something I was very keen to be involved in as I had been so encouraged by the work that had been done already and it was a privilege to work alongside those who advocate for real change. Normally these things tend to be service user oriented and this was different. This was more looking at how social workers and people who work with you know, uh, you know, service users and the people who care for them. This was aimed at them and helping them understand exactly what it is they need to do. And I think that's, that's probably the important bit because when you're, when you're you know, in the system, quote unquote, you tend to follow what people say. And this is a great way to get people introduced. Denise was feeling frustrated by people not listening to her voice. But the issue seems to be other people not having the time to get to know you and to listen to you, mm -hmm. yeah? So Denise wanted to get involved in learning development to put something back. And inviting Denise to the lap initially, that was an opportunity then for her if, if, if that's what she wanted to become involved. Basically improving the services and proving the aspects of it. And for other organisations just to listen to us, the service users, just to be aware and what our needs is, is meant to be. I think it's really good, like, well, the community groups, because everybody's got their own opinions and then you can discuss it and then you can discuss what's better where they live and what's not so good and change it. If somebody else with a learner's book can't speak for themselves, then if you can represent them, because sometimes they might be a bit scared in case they say something wrong. Yes, I think it's been a very worthwhile programme because it just sort of helps people in general and um, being able to connect the networks. Like we've had different people just sort of being able to feed off each other almost in the betterment of their services. Well, I wanted to help people, like, because who are the special people with special needs have a hard time getting jobs in the first place? And I thought if I help, if I can help do this, maybe I can help people either get jobs or help with, you with things like PIP. Well, I first became involved with the whole concept of the LEP and my role as a social work lead within the Trust. And the Trust were having debates about how we would take forward the local engagement partnership piece that was part of the social work strategy. And we were involved in a lot of improvement work uh, with adult learning disability and it felt at the time that it would be a good idea to try and introduce the LEP concept in a small way for a dedicated group of service users. For the first time in a long time now, uh, we're actually seeing real user involvement here. People are actually at the front of this and they're driving this and I think that's absolutely vital to the success of the LEPs. And I believe that when you get that true meaningful involvement from members of the public, from users etc, who have a real voice and not the token voice, um, I think you'll absolutely see excellent results coming out of this. In my experience there's different levels of partnership. This is, this is local engagement partnership so you can get feedback after you've delivered a service how, how did that work how effective was it but I think we, we need to get to the to the top end of partnership where we're involving people when the service is being conceived the idea was to try and bring the social work strategy down to a lower level and that sounds very grand and it had big ideas about structures and all that kind of stuff and I suppose we got a little bit lost in that. What I would say now is I think it's quite simple. It really is about promoting social work, making social work better, bringing service users and social workers together uh, to work together. Well, we thought the LEP could be a really big part of that improvement process because most of our work had been focused internally on trust services and the LEP was giving us an opportunity to take that externally out to other organisations and other agencies 
and to ensure that they were involved with us in the journey. It was good because it was a very open group so I you know was accepted in joining and jumping in when people had already um, met and started forming and then other people joined along the way so it was a very inclusive group it was a good wide representation and you know fun group to be kind of involved in and engaged with. Why was it different? Well <laughs> I suppose people were there and you could see that they had a commitment to it rather than just part of their day job. They were there because they wanted to be there and they really passionately were concerned around the issue being co-production and service user and care engagement. So you could see that everybody around the table were all on the same page in that regard and I just think they really wanted to be there. We were very clear we wanted to first of all you know talk to social workers about the fact that co-production is at the heart of everything they do and, and that they're already doing that to a certain extent but that there are ways to improve that and the best way we thought was actually to do tangible things like show you know other practitioners what's happening in other areas whether it was in, in the community and voluntary sector or within the trusts. I think what the LEP was doing was bringing social work back to basics and allowing us really to get back to the core of social work again. Um, the LEP and um, our current driver, which is co-production, is nothing new, uh, but co-production sounds like something very new and very different. So really what we wanted to do was try and to, to, to get social workers on the ground to realise that this is their core work um, and this is the core social work values that we're working towards. But now with the LEP programme, it's much more easier, much more accessible to the service users and to the social workers, which means the communication barrier is much more easier and stronger. They get their feedback from the bosses as an us, and also that makes the job much more easier and accessible.